Okay, here's a good one. Iran boosting nuclear activities, but there is no sign whatsoever that the Iranians intend to build a nuclear weapon, according to the uh, Obama administration. Well, everybody in the world knows they're building a nuclear weapon, but the Obama administration. I wonder if it was a Christian country, though, that was building a nuclear weapon that, that the world was unhappy about. Would Obama have a different uh, thing about it? Because... Uh, I know that uh, you know. This morning, two people were killed inside an um, uh, Afghanistan security area, and um, basically, what happened was the President of the United States made things worse by sending his apology over. You know, basically, it's called get over it. And uh, if the Afghans don't get over, the, you're leaving the country anyway. Way so, um, just you know, if you're going to run with your tail between your legs, then run. Just don't make apologies. Um, let's see. The, the feds crack rhino horn smuggling range. But the problem is you want to stop it before you get the horns. The horns means the animals are more or less dead. So you, you've basically harvested a whole bunch of horns that are going to get destroyed, not be used for, for any medical purposes whatsoever. But, um, you know, you stop it before it happens. And then here's a good one. Federal judge rules that Muslims have a right to beat the, hell, beat the death out of someone uh, if they're offended, uh, if their religion is offended. But Christians don't have the same right because Christians aren't, uh, aren't a minority like Muslims. Well, Muslims happen to be the largest group of people in the world. But uh, they said that they're demanding that the judge be removed from his position. But... The problem is, since he he is a supporter of the President of the United States, don't bet for that happening anytime soon. Um, uh, basically, Afghan labor recalls raised. He tried to save charred Korans. Basically, the, um, anybody you know, the, the, the Muslims. Okay, there are Muslims, and then there are the fundamentalist Muslims, like the fundamentalist Christians. The only problem is, fundamentalist Christians don't go on a riot and try to kill everybody because a Bible has been burned. They just get pissed off and and complain on television about it. Whereas mo the fundamental Muslims, well, they will they'll kill people in 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 the name of a God of peace. They will kill people. That's uh, that's always a good one. Uh, Shavan, she was going to Cuba on Friday for cancer surgery. Well, he wasn't cured of his cancer, like they said. And you know, it's an example of the the pro the uh, Cuban system, medical system is not as good as the medical system he needs. But he isn't about to come to the United States to get surgery because he's basically spent so much time complaining. So what he should be doing is going to some place in South America where they have a better medical system, or, or in Europe where they have a better medical system, any place but, but Cuba. Uh, Wall Street rises nearing four-year highs. Well. The highs are now higher than under, again, got to be higher than under Bush. And there's no reason. Unemployment's really not down. There's people not going to jobs uh, have stopped. That the, uh, They discovered that the fourth quarter wasn't as good as what the people said it was. And gasoline is going off the map, which means there's got to be no summer traveling, folks. And the answer to all the problems, the gasoline problems, is, well, there's nothing we can do. Um, basically, Apple ponders cash reserve caches in, caves in on board vote proposal. Well, the problem is they have their their rudderless ship now. They've got nothing in the pipeline uh, for the future, and um, Apple may have a hundred billion dollars, but a hundred billion is going to do you no good if everything you do is just simply building uh, accessories to go with what you had. I mean, like they're saying that the uh, iPad 3 is getting ready to come out. Well, when? Do you remember you'd, the iPhone 5 was supposed to come out until you got the iPhone 4 something or other? Let's see. Uh, AIG post fourth quarter profit on tax benefit. Well, they didn't make any money. They basically got it all on taxes. You know, they basically got a tax write-off, which basically helped them on the bottom line. Um, and the reporter written by a dog on there says, having a baby hurt more. I've been bit by dogs. Um, and a dog bite is the worst god-awful bite in the world because there's something in their saliva that just makes it really bad. You know, when they sink their teeth in you, you know you've been sunk into. Um, another one. Gay judge in Texas refused to perform marriage ceremonies unless gay people are allowed. Well, he doesn't have any choice about that. That's his job. If he doesn't want to do his job, 
then he should quit the office and go go to California where he can be a judge and, and perform gay marriage until the public overturns him. Um, uh, basically, I like uh, oil prices rising to 2011 highs. Well, so they already hit the 2011 highs. Now they're gonna, they're moving towards the highs uh, which caused all the, the problems to begin with because the President of the United States said, well, the, the $80 I've given all the working people you know, in tax breaks will easily pay for the offset of the high price of gases. And if, if in 10 years from now we go to green fuel, this won't happen in 10 years. Well, um, the problem isn't in 10 years, the problem is now. And uh, he took the presidency you know, over because the uh, Democrats were telling everybody, we're going to make changes, this isn't going to happen again. Well, they spent tons of money. And um, and own half of the things that are going up. Well, most of the things that are rising in value on Wall Street, the President of the United States is Chairman of. So um, things haven't changed. And this one, which I find to be totally after the asinine, Kansas teen shoots hoops in meningitis-induced coma. Well, no, coma meaning they are not out if they're they're not up and around. The only way you can shoot a coma shoot uh, you know you can shoot a hoop through a basket with a basketball. You got to be up, folks. You're not, you know, you can sleepwalk and do it, but a coma, coma means night, night time, and you don't sleepwalk in a coma. Um, basically, au revoir to the word mademoiselle, you will no longer be saying mademoiselle from Armadaire, because the, the, uh, the feminist in France consider it to be a derogatory term. You know, here we call you, you know, actually we have a United States Senator that says it's a, I'm just, you know, I work so hard, I don't want to be called ma'am. Well, it's called a polite way of saying things. You know, you, you don't know if they're married, you say ma'am. In, in France, you you have a new mademoiselle. You know, uh, they, it's a term of, it's not a term of derogatory term in France. They've wrote love songs about mademoiselle. They've written books about mademoiselle. They have painted, you know, we're talking um, great artworks have been Toulouse-Lautrec, mademoiselle. You know, uh, uh, people name show dogs after mademoiselles. I mean, it's a term of endearment. It's not a derogatory term. Uh, Steinfeld star Daniel von Bergen hospitalized after a failed suicide attempt. Well, I mean, I've, I've actually worked with the guy. You know, big rugged person. But the problem is, he's got um, he's got rampant diabetes, and I think he was going into the hospital. They're going to start cutting him apart. And the thought of being, you know, just chopped up inch by inch didn't appeal to him so he tried to kill himself and that was a failure so now he gets chopped up and he's not going to be he gets chopped up and he's got damage to his and probably severe damage and never going to work again so i mean it's called if you're going to do it uh, my, my grandmother was um from ireland my grandmother would say if you want to if you're going to kill yourself make certain you kill yourself because leaving yourself alive after you tried to kill yourself is going to leave you worse off than you were before so, um, um, we got um, raw milk causes most illness from dairy products. Well, I, I really hate to tell people this, but people have been drinking raw milk for God all knows how when. I had a we had a farm here, um, and and you know back in the olden days before this all in Los Angeles all became a big city. Culver had truck farms, and and uh, we had cows. We saw it there. And we drank the milk, you know, uh, the raw milk before it was processed. I mean, certainly, you know, it's it's not as good as I'm, it's not as safe as homogenized. But most people that sell raw milk are basically hard-working, licensed people to sell hard raw milk. And if you the Center for Disease Control and the Obama administration wants to stop, well, it won't be stopped because raw milk is used in a god awful lot of products. Um, new melanoid drug uh, may extend survival. Well, yeah, well, it's, you know, the drug wouldn't be much good if it didn't extend survival. I love that. Um, heart attacks in younger women would be harder to detect and deadlier. Well, because a woman, uh, I know if a woman starts having a swollen ankle on the left side of her body, it's like a man having a, a, a dead arm on the left side of the body. There are signs. It's just when you get when you're a certain age, you don't look for those signs in, in men or women. Uh, we got a money about the march for the animal kingdom. Others' traditions mean little to those that have none of their own.